Michael sets in the pocket, gets his pass off, underthrown, and he caught it. A dive. How many times have you seen it when a ball is underthrown, the defensive backs run past the guy who catches the ball? Chris Russell, the redshirt freshman automobile, cramps and all. He's off the bench, and he's in here for this fourth down play. Ron, this is Skyler Green right here. Some kind of pick play where you get him open. Motion. Roll the pocket to the left. Looking, still looking. He's got a man there. Lumps it in the end zone of the other crew. Oh, he had Skyler Green, and he tried to put a touch on it, and he touched it too far. Continues to guide the team. Pressure up the middle. This pass is almost intercepted. Piscatelli almost came up with the pick. As he kind of loped it out there to early do set. Jamarcus throws off his back foot on this play. Tries to hit Doucette. Could have been picked off. Anderson's right in this play. He's playing defense. The crowd, 5,000 people came from Oregon. They got Bob Euchre seats up there. Field. There's still a minute 20 seconds on the clock for people who started heading for the parking lot. Uh, they better come on back. This one's not over by a long shot. Demarcus Russell sets the throw over the middle. Got his man, and it's Bow again. See that sideline. Look at it over. Two point conversion coming. Trying to tie it at 15. 105 left. Russell steps up. He's going to run it. He's got it. We're tied. Time. We're tied at 15. LSU and Oregon State. He's going to run it at the five. Touchdown, Marcus Randall. Extra point attempt. Up and he's got it. Play is called and here they come to the line of scrimmage. LSU with still another defensive back in the ball game. Second and 10 from the 25. Play action. Got a pass and it is incomplete. In and out of his hands. Wow, Corey Webster had fallen down. LSU 
LSU shows blitz right at the middle. Here they come. The pass is complete at the 19-yard line. They got to take it inside the 15-yard line or to the 15 to hold on to the football. Otherwise, LSU wins in the first overtime. Pass right here. Anderson back in the pocket. Pressure was on. Got it away. Touchdown, Oregon State. It's Joe Newton. Let's play a second overtime. 19 yards on the play. Well, Ernie Banks is right. Let's play two. Joe Newton, the tight end, has been a, a big part of this offense all night. The all-important extra point. Actually, I guess I was taking a little too much for granted <laughs> after we banged the post on yeah, two Ernie's, of them. Ernie's waiting until after the sixth for point. Sherman with the extra point attempt. Trying to send this to that second overtime. Ball is down. He missed it. I don't believe it. He missed the third one. And LSU wins in overtime. You feel sorry for Cerna. Look at Coach Rada. He's trying to call a timeout. Isn't he? Yes. He wants a timeout. And the si sideline this year, the head Dave. coach can call a timeout. That's exactly right. Ball is not it. He just pushes this one badly, Mike. You feel sorry for the place kicker. even close on that one the third missed extra point let's go down to the sideline and Aaron Andrews Aaron Ron thanks I'm here right now with Nick Saban coach what was going through your mind as Oregon State was getting ready to kick that extra point well you know we we're going to lose the game on it I was thinking about what we're going to do next on offense so you know it's a real tribute to our players and our program that they didn't give up I thought Oregon State's team played a fantastic game the quarterback was outstanding we obviously have a lot of work to do to be a good football team but uh, I think it showed a lot of character to come back in the game. You make a big change coming into the second half. You change up your quarterback. Why did you decide to do that, Coach? Well, I just felt like we just didn't have any rhythm in the first half. And, you know, I just wanted to change the tempo a little bit and really did it to try to settle down, you know, Marcus, Randall. So, uh, Jamarcus played pretty well. We put a drive together, so we stuck with him. Time now for the Auburn Tigers. shotgun on third down tenth play of this drive Randall to the far sideline near sideline down the sideline they're gonna mark him out of bounds that's Davis loudest point on the field in either one of these end zone situations David Jones lines up as a fullback play action Randall good protection up and over the middle touchdown LSU Dwayne Bowles
Impressive opening drive. And Randy, you mentioned it earlier. Great poise by the senior Marcus Randall. And he's just working, and he knows and has face and bows that against Kevin Sears, he can get that quick break. And he fed that one right in there between the safety and the corner. That was absolutely perfectly thrown. Extra point, no good. Remember that after that incredible 14 play drive, they go 80 yards and Godet misses the extra point. Bo with his fourth touchdown catch of the season. LSU up 6-0. Second down, play action. Good protection again, up and over. Wide open along the far sideline. Watch out, Craig Davis breaks one, two, three tackles to the 34-yard line. Jackson who missed that point after the touchdown will go for a field goal now of 42 yards and got it. His longest before that boot was 34. Galone back on second down four. Long snap count by Campbell. Pressure, throws to the flat. Nearly picked off and then caught. Williams made the grab. How? I don't know. A lot of running. Shotgun backs are split. LSU showing blitz. They come. Strong pass. Knocked down incomplete. Back on fourth and 12, Auburn. Anthony, will continue. Anthony Mix has been the money guy so far. Campbell rolling, takes a hard hit, throws, cut! Inside the 15, it's Courtney Taylor! Randy, they needed 12, they got 13. Right, this half. Play action. Campbell throws, it's caught. In and out of the hands of Anthony Mix. He's caught it out of bounds. Less than a minute and a half to go. Six-point LSU lead. Campbell pumps to the end zone. Got it! Touchdown! Courtney Taylor! And now, Randy, the ever-important yeah. extra point. The season early on of extra point misses again comes into play for the LSU Tigers. John Vaughn never missed an extra point. 36 of 36. The kick is up. No! It was a bad snap. Yeah, low and inside on the snap. Had to put it down on a strange spot. There was a, pl a flag down on that play. Stunned silence in this stadium. Here's Steve Landis. Personal foul, number nine. Wow. That's the kind of penalty, if you're on the LSU sideline, that just rips your guts out. There's no other way to describe it. Bad snap inside. Vaughn tries to rush, tries to get to it, has to rush, ends up falling down. And in a golf vernacular, you'd say, I was a dead yank. Wow. But you know what, that didn't happen. Can't trust our lying eyes. The penalty, half the distance, and another try. 190 straight for Auburn, 36 in a row for John Vaughn. Second life, another bad snap. Got it this time! for LSU, 107 on the clock. Jamarcus threw it to the other side. 
Oh, the sea of orange on their feet. Third down and 10, 39 seconds left. LSU down one, co-national champions of a year ago. Out of bounds, stops the clock, Craig Dave up on the sideline. He's kicked one today of 42 yards. Pick! Rose Green closes the door. to the 10 and a half yard line to hold on to the football. Ben Wilkerson over the football. Pressure gets that pass away and it's intercepted at the 10 yard line by Jarvis Harry. Why would you throw that ball? Throw it away. of scrimmage and they go with the straight ahead handoff Root and a fake and they score take Casey to tie it in 15 at a half yard line goes to the end zone got a man there touchdown early do set the 15 yard strike and boy, 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 the penalty against Mincy really jumps out at you now. We got two timeouts left. 2.06 to play. They're trailing the Gators by four. Running play a down. Breaks a tackle. He is going to have 16 yards on the play. Here's a guy running play to the right, inside the 20s, down to the 16, make it the 15-yard line. He's going to try to find either Dwayne Bow or Early Doucette here. Mike being third down, and of course third down means nothing here because with this little time left in the game, it's a four-down situation. But Charlie Strong, will be, they've been sending people in abundance on third down. Will they do that here? Look at the formation. For the Florida players, waving towels, trying to get this crowd totally into it. Run with one timeout left. Still, you have to thread of the run because the run has been your best play. Play clock is at eight, down to seven. Direct snap. Throws, got a man in the flat, caught. Hit at the two-yard line. Touchdown. Touchdown, LSU, Joseph Adal. For the celebration on the far sideline, and Nick Saban trying to say, hey, guys, let's... Let's celebrate in about 27 seconds, but let's make sure we get all this stuff right. Goday with the extra point right down the middle at a shot stadium here in Florida. 14 early points from some of the players down on the field. They simply cannot believe it. 
Tonight's players of the game brought to you by TIAA Crest. We've heard the crowd tonight, and for good reason. They're aching through as Richardson got the first down, perhaps no, about two yards short. First down. The crowd on its feet. Wibbs' kick is good. And Troy has retaken the lead, 20 to 17. Homecoming night at Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. Olmstead with a high kick that'll be taken by Carter at the 10-yard line. He's got room to run. Carter across the 45 to the 47-yard line, and that was the return that the Tigers needed. That's what they came over from his strong side linebacker position. Fakes the handoff to Bo. Going into the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, Tigers. David Jones, the tight end. 30 yards on the touchdown play, and how is that for answering the call? Absolutely. When you got to score the touchdown, you come back, and again, Marcus Randall on the scramble, the big play, takes a hit, gets right back up, and comes back, and throws a 30-yard touchdown to his tight end. And Tiger fans tonight now really have something to cheer about, but still 218. Two out of four on the entire season, and that's their third, now out of five. Randall looking deep into the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. Craig Davis has his first touchdown of the season on a 34-yard touchdown play. That's just a good play. That, you know, that touchdown really, uh, all the credit goes to the wide receiver on that one because he was covered. To, Davis just played hand. A defensive lineman with a 5 handicap. I got to like that on the golf course. His fourth sack of the year as Skyler Green fields it at his 35. He's across midfield. He could go all the way. Right here on Tiger Vision after this network break. They've got to take it to the two and a half yard line if they want to hold on to the football. Otherwise, it's going to be field goal time. It's McLean in motion. Quick pass, far sideline, and the ball is intercepted by LSU. Corey Webster up the far sideline. Webster, 35, cuts across the green and gets tripped up. And the Alabama coaches are protesting, and there was a huge push. Now, I think Corey Webster pushed off and got a win with it. No call. Rip and Mathis are throwbacks. They're old-fashioned, hard-nosed football players. Pennington looking. Hit from behind. There's Marcus Spears. Ball is loose. Picked up by LSU. Touchdown, Cameron Vaughn. from a shotgun formation with a third down and a, about three. Gets his pass away. A die has the first down and off. Ten, five, touchdown LSU. 35 yards. hands in the first hand. I talk about his versatility, how many different ways that they use him, and this is one. We're about to hit the four and a half minute mark. You see the blitz coming on, and they go free. A die. 30, 25, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Joseph. A die from 47 yards.
to Louisiana. There is happiness in the bayou this evening. So long, everybody. So now third and one for LSU. At three side, has the first down and more. He could go the distance. Broussard run out of the three-yard line. A three-season All-American Whitworth, third and goal to go. They spot it at the one. Broussard cuts down Tigers. The Tigers not by much at the 19 of Ole Miss. Still with it is Russell. Lost it short, and Jones has the catch. Is it a grab? Yes, it is. At the one-yard line, if he could have put it on the play clock and on the game clock, so I think they're just going to go ahead and run this play and try to get in. Broussard, and still on his feet, still effort, and he makes it in on a third effort. Ellie Broussard. Ninth play of the drive for the Rebels of Ole Miss. Lane's going to keep it, and he's going to score. Robert Lane, the former LSU recruit, finds Green Caster in Baton Rouge one way or another. Touchdown, the Tigers putting the ball in the air a little bit more tonight, but now third and 11. Plenty of time, pass intercepted. It is picked off by the Rebels of Ole Miss, still on his feet is Jermaine McBride, and he might take it to the and he does. Touchdown, Ole Miss as the Rebels take the lead on an interception and a 48-yard return for a touchdown. You know, one of the big mistakes that most freshmen make, especially freshman quarterbacks, is when they get they, going for two with a five-point lead, trying to make it seven. Lean back at quarterback for the Rebels. And he'll hang on to it, and they'll get it easily. And the Rebels now lead 24-17. You know, most uh, the percentages are higher on the two-point conversion if you run the ball than if you throw it. So far, from LSU's perspective, it's been a pesky Ole Miss football team. First and ten from their own ten. Russell at quarterback. This is Broussard. Broussard across midfield, cutting back and down to the 45. Still on his feet. What a great effort from Ali Broussard, a gain of 58. First and goal to go from the seven for LSU. Broussard, touchdown Tigers! His third of the night, and the Tigers have retaken the lead. This is a similar formation. I mean, if you look at it, when you look at the, when you look at the screen, as you go back. Good look at uh, Will Arnold, the 6'4", 320-pound freshman. Red shirt, that's a die. A die across the 40 to the 45, across midfield. He could go the distance, cutting back, and down to the 21-yard line. Record with more than 250 yards rushing. Blitzing again, our LSU on second and 10. Flat overthrows, intercepted! It is picked off by Jesse Daniels. And Daniels has, for all intents and purposes, sealed the victory for LSU. Well, you know what happened? If LSU can run the table, that uh, win today, they did. They have to win next week against Ole Miss, against uh, Arkansas in Little Rock. If they can do that, then uh, this LSU team is going to end up in the Capital One Bowl. Big third down and three for LSU at the Arkansas 20-yard line to the flat. Watch out. Walking in for the touchdown. A die out of the backfield. LSU strike first. Go back, man. That's what they do. That's their mentality. High formation. First and goal. Play action. Jones throws. Pitch and catch. Touchdown, Hogs! Jones to Hillis. Jeremy Davis back to punt at his 15-yard line. Skyler Green at the 34. Good snap. Look at this. Little throw. Incomplete.
complete. Wow. He didn't see the coverage man bail out. From the shotgun, Randall steps up, throws, look at this. A guy, touchdown LSU. A quick six. And the second touchdown for Joseph Adai. This one, 29 yards. Randall with a shotgun on second down, six. Steps up, throws a crossing pattern. Inside the five to the two-yard line is Craig Davis. And first and goal. Stealth the fullback. Play action, Randall. Directing traffic, heads to the sideline. Touchdown, Tigers! They clock down to one. Do they get it off? Jones in the pocket, steps and throws. Intercepted. Lawan Landry down the sideline, cuts it inside, and is uh, tackled at the 35-yard line. Randall, look at that quarterback keeper up the middle. High steps it at the 15-10 to the 7-yard line. What a half the seven yard line. Randall steps up, keeper, three, two, touchdown, LSU. They had success there against Missouri last year. They won't be this year. Carry, touchdown, Tigers. Comes in with a seven game win streak. They lost a yard on that one. It'll be a third down and eight. Three receivers come to the near side with a slot set. Quick release over the middle of midfield. Complete 40. This is going to go all the way. Touchdown, Clinton Sullivan. Completely collapsed. And this is what Iowa does. You, you watch them on film, they don't look that impressive, that physical, but they just make plays when they have oh, to. Oh, screen pass intercepted, and the only man to make a tackle, the quarterback held him up. It'll be brought back to midfield, Melvin Oliver in the interception, and the tank was rumbling. So as soon as Iowa got great field position on the block punt, LSU comes back, Melvin Oliver, the junior, with a 26-yard interception. The game hasn't been strong, but we have to try to, I think, make an attempt at least to try to keep LSU a little bit uh, uh, honest with their defensive approach. Bad pass by Tate. It is intercepted. He got caught, and while he was going down, LaRon Landry was wide open, only it was the wrong color jerk. <laughs> Field goal situation, 29-yarder. It is up, and it is good, Chris Jackson. So a long field goal coming. Jackson's got a 47-yarder that he is going to try and kick here for LSU. Ball down. Jackson's kick is up long enough, and it is good. What they're going to have to do without those timeouts, remember we talked about those two ones quasi-wasted. Let's see if they rush here. They want to try and block if they can. Only one back at the 30-yard line. Trying to put a big rush on. They got it. It gets blocked. Ball bouncing back inside the five. It's touchdown. The block came by Miguel Merrick. Heading off. So Randall out of there. And uh, Jamarcus Russell. Flynn in near side. That'll be carried to the look out to the 40. One man to beat to the 50 yard line. Broussard. Broussard, the five. Touchdown, LSU. Rush has to dump it off, completes it at the 30-yard line, down to the 20, inside to the 15, the 10, and out of bounds inside the 5. Scott Chan. Zone and a goal they couldn't convert. This time, touchdown! Lock away. Third quarterback that uh, we have seen, Jamarcus Russell now, another red-shirted freshman, comes on. He's played a lot this year. Yeah, right now, mm -hmm. comparison-wise, 
That is Jamarcus Russell third down and 15. The Iowa fans on their feet cheering for their defense with 9 10 to go in the fourth. Russell looking four receivers out at the 40 caught first down maybe more heading to the end zone. Oh nope. but he stepped out nope. of bounds. It sure looked like it and the line judge came up and made a great call 32 yard line. It is a first down but it is not a touchdown. First down and the 10 that close to being within a touchdown the fake the look deep. They've got two going to the end zone. They got one open on the left side. He didn't see him. Going to be completed up to the 22-yard line to the. So it's just a matter of timing. It's not if LSU scores. It's when they score. Russell putting on a show here at quarterback, getting the opportunity. First down and ten again to the end zone, going to the near side. It is caught. Touchdown, Skyler Green. And LSU is not done. 22-yard TD pass. Not a blitzing team, but Norm Parker might want to try a blitz here. Third down, big play, a long three. Third down and a long three. LSU has got two plays to get it. They're not going to punt it. Over the middle, completed right at the 40-yard line. The marking will decide the first down or not as Hodge put the hit on. Well, I don't think he got it, but I don't think there's any question what's going to happen right here. Doucette got it, but he couldn't even take a step before he got knocked down. The, the problem, though, for Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher as offensive coordinator is the history of running in between the tackles against this front for Iowa has not been very good. However, I think they're winded, and I think you just run it right at him. Quarterback sneak, you got a 250-pound quarterback, and this front for Iowa is really starting to look tired. Broussard, Stelts. Running backs, 218 left to go. Fourth down and one. And the ball at the 40 yard line. They've got to get a first down, LSU does, to keep their drive and hopes alive in this game. They'll go to the second man through. They've got the first down and they got more. It'll be taken down to the 32 yard line. Broussard has done it all day. A nine yard gain for their. Big bruising runner. Well, they might have to start doing some different things. First down and 10. Russell back looking right side. Oh, the ball is almost taken away. Throws sideline. It's caught. 34 left to go. First down and 10. Sorting things out. Russell. 18 on that last play. Fakes it. Looking green in the end zone. Double team. Still wants him. He's open at the back. Driven out of bounds. Income have had the lead. They still do at 24 to 19, but there's no question now they are the ones hanging on. And Marcus to Marcus Russell, the guy who's played lights out, coming in basically the third string quarterback today, has played great right now. I think they, they need to move him, let him throw it again. He is on fire. Allow this young man to go ahead and try to win it for you. The first down marker is at the four yard line. This is a third down and six. Looking over the middle, and it is caught, and that's going to be enough for a first down. And what a catch coming out of the backfield to die, who had three defenders on him. They've got the Rose Bowl is coming up next. What a lead into that game in this one. A second down, goal to go from the three-yard line. Again, Russell looking into the end zone. Green, touchdown! <laughs> They've got to settle down. I know they want to celebrate, but this is a huge two-point conversion. With two timeouts and 46 seconds left, Drew Tate has all the time in the world to get down the field. Schlicker, their kicker, has kicked over 50 yards a few times this year. They need to settle down and make this two-point conversion. 25 to 24. 23 seconds, so Iowa's going, obviously, without the huddle here. They want to keep those two timeouts they need to get to within field goal range they do not need the touchdown a field goal will do it out of the shotgun tape looking near side over the middle that's going to be caught that is not a first down Move at it. the 49 yard line Holloway on the reception you're thinking 30 35 yard line Kyle Schlicker who takes over for the great Nate Kading this season has and been great they'll dump it right there and a flag goes down a lot of players were moving uh, be while that ball was snapped the ball was snacked before they're ready to play. Be a five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Oh, that's a that's a big mistake, and, and it ate the clock too. Yep. They and you they know, have I think the they should have taken that timeout. They, they should have taken that timeout. 
Schlecker on the sideline. There's the field goal kicker who just grew into this season. He is a sophomore. He had five field goals against Minnesota in a, his biggest day, and he may have his biggest kick yet to come. Oh, yes, I, I would say he might. All right, five yards taken off. It'll be a second down now. Second down at 16. Looking, Tate wants to go deep for the touchdown. A man open at the 20. It is caught. 10, 5, touchdown. From Drew Tate to Warren Holloway, 30 to 25, Iowa. Inside receiver, he's just running to take off. The safety never, ever, ever gets back. And you saw Drew Tate. He saw it late, and he had to recut because he was going to come down underneath to pick up the first down. And he saw Warren Holloway running right by the safety and a perfect throw. A football game where the defense has dominated for three quarters of the game suddenly became an offensive show in the fourth quarter. Get ready for football fans all around America to know who Drew Tate is. Wow. This guy, a true sophomore, second-year player out of Texas, is phenomenal. What a great read by a young quarterback. And you saw him. He saw the safety get over there late. He was thinking about throwing something underneath to pick up the first, had to reset his feet, and delivered an absolute strike. Holloway celebrating with a touchdown reception.